Alright, so today, as I'm recording this, the VeggieTales documentary is supposed to be airing tonight on TBN. Now, with that said, I want these three questions answered by this documentary. First question, was the VeggieTales podcast a bad idea to begin with? Okay, question number two. Is Larry Boy making another comeback? And then question number three. Oh, oh. Question number three is the big one. And I need that answered tonight. Are Phil and Mike coming back? In other words, are they rehired? I want those three questions answered by this documentary. Proceed. Are you kidding me? You had one job to do, documentary. One job. You couldn't even do it. But that's it. That is it. Hi, Jenny Boy Posh. How you doing today? Alright, got my morning coffee. Got my notes. Ah, oh, you guys. So last night was the documentary. You know that episode of Spongebob where uh, Mr. Krabs is promising a bunch of kids that a clown was going to come over to the Krusty Krab and perform for them? But then he turns around and puts like a clown nose and pretends to be a clown for a few seconds before disappearing back into his office, leaving the entire crowd shocked. Well, that's what this documentary feels like. Though I kind of knew in the back of my mind that the documentary wasn't going to be perfect. This documentary, unfortunately, exceeded my expectations. Like, they really wanted to rub salt into the wound. Alright, so it's the next day, and yesterday, like, when I record this video, yesterday I saw the documentary. And boy, do I have notes for you guys, because I wrote them down. You know those three big questions that I had for the documentary? Well, none of them got answered, unfortunately. Yeah, this documentary dropped the ball. So I wrote down some notes, but I put a star next to like the major, the major things that they said. VeggieTales has sold over 65 million copies their videos or DVDs 65 million copies I mean that's a big number and that's pretty good but then there comes NBC Universal and yeah they just want everything they want to be in charge of the DVDs the distribution it's like whatever oh and another thing they also mentioned that VeggieTales has been passed up passed on, I should say, from four different companies with NBC Universal slash Comcast as the current owner. But throughout all that, the Trinity Broadcasting Network has sympathized with VeggieTales over the years. And they're their only ally because they want VeggieTales to go even further, to be out there instead of like packed into a box and just closed and sealed off or whatever. Because that's apparently what NBC Universal wants. But TBN's like, no, we gotta have VeggieTales out in the open. So that's why there's the streaming service Yippee TV, which is considered an SVOD. That means subscription video on demand. And let me tell you, they promote that app so much like throughout the documentary. Yippee. Yippee. Parents, you have to get Yippee. It's a new streaming service for kids, but really it's a peace of mind for adults. Hi, I used to be a Yippee TV subscriber, but then VeggieTales went downhill. So I had to pause my subscription a few times and eventually I had to cancel my subscription because reasons. Subscribe to Yippee TV. It's like, give us a call if you want to subscribe to Yippee TV. It's like, download the app or go to the app store, whatever. And before we delve into the problem with this documentary, if you've read Phil's memoir, Me, Myself, and Bob, then you'll definitely know what he's talking about. You'll be sitting there and like, oh, I remember that from the book. I remember that from the memoir. 
Yeah, I remember reading that. But to summarize this whole thing, keep promoting Yippee TV. Continue to have Phil and Mike force a smile as their beloved series is being trashed by NBC Universal. And don't expect the 26 new episodes to be promising because we don't know what they're going to be about. Oh yeah, and what else? Keep retconning Phil's memoir. Because it's a documentary, remember? But don't give us new information. Don't. Oh, and another thing, continue being lazy when it comes to production. Because you already showed off your laziness when you mislabeled Mike as Phil Vischer. The idea of having a show with a biblical worldview uh, that there's a God who made us, who loves us, who, wanna, right who wants there. a relationship with that? us. Or if you use somebody's fan art, which you Googled online apparently, and just like, okay, we'll use that. Disappointed. It's like, I don't get it. You seem to have a hate relationship with the fans. With the VeggieTales fans. And us commentators and VeggieTales fan artists have to suffer for it. I'd rather live in a world where NBC Universal understood the fans and they would be so gracious to tell us what's been going on behind the scenes. But you already know the answer to that. That's never going to happen. Not going to happen. And if you challenge them in any way on their social media or even on their uh, VeggieTales Twitter account, it's like, nope, don't want to hear it. We're going to privatize the account. And you know what? It's sad to have that mentality because when you keep pushing people away, and what's the work environment in NBC Universal? So I'm asking you guys, what's going to happen if NBC Universal is finally able to put VeggieTales in a box and store it? Are they going to say that they cared about Phil and Mike then? That they did anything and everything to make them happy? If they say that, then that's a lie. Because I guarantee you, Phil and Mike went through hell and back to make this series a thing. And I keep saying over and over that Phil and Mike poured blood, sweat, and tears into VeggieTales. They were the ones that built that series from the ground up. And when the bankruptcy happened, and when the series got passed up by how many companies again? Four companies? And then landing in NBC Universal's lap? And then Phil and Mike getting fired behind their racks. It's like they go outside of their office and then NBC Universal closes the doors behind them. And it's like, oops, sorry, you got fired. We're not sorry. So again, is NBC Universal going to say that they cared about him then? That they did anything and everything to make Phil and Mike happy? Yeah, it's just sad that VeggieTales is being stuck in that hellhole of a company. While TBN is trying their hardest to do anything and everything that they can to ensure that VeggieTales is relevant and being shared by so many people. While TBN seems to be the only corporate ally for VeggieTales, only time will tell. Because if NBC Universal shelves VeggieTales, then it's over. Everything that Phil and Mike worked so hard for is going to be over, dead and buried. And it's sad. Can't VeggieTales go to another company? It doesn't seem like that. It doesn't seem like it. I mean... They were owned by DreamWorks at some time, but then that fell through. <laughs> Disney, heh. I don't think Disney would want VeggieTales. 
so there's not many viable options for VeggieTales other than NBC Universal. So that's why that's why I am saying for NBC Universal to get their stuff together, put the consumers first, put the VeggieTales fans first, stop living in their corporate bubble, and show Phil Vischer and Mike Naraki a little bit more respect. Because what's going on right now, it's not going to cut it. And I really wish uh, Phil and Mike were able to talk about this. To get their side of the story. And for them to come out and say, hey, we got screwed over. This isn't right. We want somebody to help us. Because I'm willing to help you guys um, as much as I can. I mean, this platform, I'm already advocating for Phil and Mike. So there's only so much that uh, supporters can do. And it is what it is, unfortunately. Hopefully, VeggieTales can rebound from all this. But there's a slim chance of that happening. And I know I've talked to some of my uh, fellow collaborators and YouTubers. They're still holding out hope that things will change. As am I. But you never know. It's like this documentary. It just like left us with more questions than answers, you know. Didn't really answer questions. It's like, we just want to know what happened. Like when Phil and Mike got fired all of a sudden. We need answers to those questions. I, I would think that NBC Universal would owe it to us to answer those questions. If not for us, then do it for Phil and Mike. At the very least, NBC Universal, you owe it to Phil and Mike to explain what happened and why you guys fired them all of a sudden and to make things right with them. Otherwise, people are just going to have like a negative uh, perspective about your company. That. He's just sitting here. So hopefully things turn out for the better. I mean, yeah, I'm going to continue being optimistic. I'm going to try and be, you know, I'm still going to be open-minded about the situation. But you know, it's like the evidence is here. It's all in these notes. I wrote them down that none of our questions got answered. Well, none of my questions got answered. It left us with more questions than answers. So if you guys want to see the documentary or check it out for yourselves or go online and research uh, what was talked about in the documentary, go for it. I know a few other channels are going to be covering the documentary as well. Alrighty, so that's about it. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, if you like this video, if you uh, sat through the entire video, well, thank you. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and please subscribe to the channel. And as always, if you want to support the show, you can always join me on Patreon. And you can also follow me on TikTok and Instagram. And there's also my Redbubble merch store. And then I have DeviantArt. It's like, links are going to be in the description. All that to bang a bang. Alrighty, so I want to end this uh, video on a positive note. Um, I got some projects um, that I'm still working on. And I love that uh, Janie Boy Plushie is a reoccurring character in my videos and in my live streams. I love that. <laughs> Alrighty, so he's so cute. But anyways, this has been your girl, Larry Boy Fanatic. The eyes and plunger ears of the Larry Boy multiverse. Hopefully, the multiverse is spared from 
from NBC Universal. It's like, don't make things worse than what they already are. Do not. Great. See you guys. Like, you know, it's been such a part of my life, you know, decades as, as uh, you know, involved with VeggieTales as, as Larry. Um, the opportunity to, to, to write and, and voice again for this character and these characters that I've just grown to love over the years. It was really, really amazing for me.